It's been three years since the Steam Deck first released, and we still don't have any native streaming apps for it. Netflix, Crunchyroll, Disney+, Plus, none of them. And honestly, the truth is we probably never will. Before I tell you why, if you want to jump straight to the tutorials, just skip to the next chapter. But if you're curious about why we won't get native apps, stick around. This isn't just a Steam Deck issue, it's a Linux thing. The main reason for the lack of streaming apps is, well, the smaller user base and the challenges of developing and maintaining dedicated streaming apps in an open source ecosystem. Two and a half years ago, when I first got my Steam Deck, I was curious, could I download streaming apps on my deck? That curiosity led me to the creation of my first video, and you may have seen it. Maybe you saw my more recent one from a year ago. Either way, I appreciate all of your support and the views over the past three years. Thank you. And since then, I've still gotten questions and comments asking whether these methods still work. So today, I'm happy to say, yes, both methods still work. And of course, at this point, I'm sure there are even more ways to get streaming apps on your deck. But today, I want to demonstrate the two of the best methods that work flawlessly. The first and easiest method is with EmuDeck. Here's how to do it. Switch to desktop mode on your Steam Deck. Download EmuDeck from their website, link in the description. Drag the setup file onto your desktop and install it. Follow the prompts to complete the installation. Once EmuDeck is installed, open up the app and look at the left side menu. Scroll down and find Cloud Services. Click it to open the main menu. Start with Manage Cloud Services. This is where you select the streaming apps you want to add to your Steam Deck. When you're finished, go to Change Settings. Here, you select the default web browser for the streaming services. If you haven't downloaded a web browser yet, now's the time to download the browser of your choice. Currently, I hear that Chrome, Edge, and Firefox all work. But based on my experience, I highly recommend using Microsoft Edge. It works the best across all streaming apps. Select your web browser and hit OK. Now, scroll back up in the left side menu and open Steam ROM Manager. Click Next. Real quick, if you're seeing the same parsers on your Steam Deck as you do in this video right now, then continue on to the next part in this video. But if you're not seeing the same parsers and it looks completely different on your Steam Deck, then there's something you need to do. In order to get all the parsers back, Get out of Steam ROM Manager, go to EmuDeck, then go to the left side menu where it says Manage Emulators. Then scroll all the way down where you'll see Manage Tools and Front Ends, click on Steam ROM Manager, and then at the very top, click on Reset Configuration. Allow EmuDeck to reset, and then once it's ready, go back to Steam ROM Manager, and then go through the whole process, and you should see the parsers menu look the same as what you see in this video. All right, you should be good to go. On with the video. Add games, then parse. EmuDeck will scan for emulators and ROMs while also adding your selected streaming apps to Steam. Once it's done, click Options, Filter by Steam Category, and select Cloud Services. You'll now see all the streaming apps you've added and you have the ability to change the cover art. When you're done, click Save to Steam. A notification will pop up in the upper right. Wait until it says Done with the little green tab. Now, exit EmuDeck and return to gaming mode. Go to Library, Collections, then Cloud Services. Open each streaming app and then log in with your credentials. This creature infiltrated the very... That's it. If you don't want to use EmuDeck, you can use this second method. This method is actually the first video I originally shared for adding streaming apps to the Steam Deck. So I'd like to demonstrate that this method still works. First, switch to desktop mode. If you haven't done so already, download a web browser of your choice. Open the browser and navigate to the streaming service you want to use. Let's use Netflix as an example. Log into your Netflix account, leave the browser open with Netflix running, and then open the Steam app. Click Games at the top, then add a non-Steam game to my library. Find your web browser and click Add Selected Programs. 
Find your web browser in your Steam library in Uncategorized, right-click it and select Properties. Now copy the line of code in the description of this video where it says Append Launch Options, and then go back to Steam and go to the Launch Options of your web browser and paste this line of code at the end of the text field. Now go back to your streaming service, copy the URL, and then paste it inside the quotation marks at the very end where it says www.whateverserviceyouuse.com. Rename the browser to whatever streaming service it is and exit properties. Return to gaming mode, go to library, go to non-Steam games, then locate your app. Open the app and log in with your credentials. There you have it. Two ways to add your favorite streaming services to the Steam Deck. As a reminder, this does not behave like a normal streaming app that you're used to on your phones and tablets. And no, you cannot download anything for offline viewing. It's basically just opening up a web browser and playing your videos through that. Obviously, EmuDeck is much easier to set up everything with, being able to select multiple apps and have all the artwork, but in case you want to add your own custom art or some art is missing, like the Disney Plus art you saw in this video, you should watch this next video where I teach you how to find and upload your own custom Steam Deck artwork. Thanks for watching.